All right, this is the book of St. John 17, 22. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one, and I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. All right, Shalom, Akiyam, Zaha, Spirit, we in Judah, on the Jim S. Mississippi Camp. Giving all honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Yahweh I also want to give double honors to our apostles, the great minister, who well, and peace and blessings at house David the elect. All right, what I want to go into today is a lesson, um, basically going into the Yahweh Shai filter, all right? Because something that I've noticed, you know, in its truth is that one of the things that separate us, all right, from the world and, and people in this world, all right, is what I would call the Yahweh Shai filter, all right? When you have the spirit inside of you, all right, which the the whole the, the spirit is the word, but Yahweh Shai came in the volume of the book, so he's the word, all right? And really, the most I had his spirit inside Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai has his spirit inside of us, all right? But when we have that spirit inside of us, all right, we are on a different uh, wave than Jake in the world. This, then Jake that's not in his truth, man. All right, and I will call it the Yahweh Shai filter. All right, and I read uh, Saint John seventeen and twenty three. I in them and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one. All right, and you know that's very important because you know I notice when you don't have, you know, let's say you've been deviating from the word or you know you're not really out of tune. In, in with the source, all right, you're basically you're empty of the oil or the spirit, all right, and basically you're just moving on the same wave as Jake, and Jake just going off instinct or what the scriptures call living after the flesh. Why does the scripture push or 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 condemn living after the flesh so much, man? All right, because keep in mind this terminology was used during the decadent Roman Empire, all right. Which drew out the flesh, which drew out the things in the flesh. All right. In America, it's nothing but a mirror, a reflection of Rome. All right. So I'll call this the Howard Shai filter. All right. Or the spirit inside of you, man, that gives you governance. All right. That gives you governance over your flesh. All right. But it also is, it gives you the spirit of discretion. All right. It gives you the spirit of discretion. Not to put yourself in situations because ultimately it's unwise or it's unholy. But when the spirit is not in you and you have no fear, all right, then you're likely to just go off instinct and you'll be, you'll be, you'll look, look and act and sound just like a regular Jake in the world, man. All right. St. John 17, 23 again. I in them and thou in me that they may be made perfect in one. All right. And, you know, that's pretty much. The, the the foundation of, of this topic is that, you know, we have to subject ourselves, all right, to, to the word, okay? Because that's where our discretion comes in, or that's where our judgment comes in, all right? You have to have something in you, all right, that makes you maneuver, all right, with wisdom and, and it's truth, man, okay? Let me see if I can get this scripture, Proverbs. Three and five. It says, Proverbs three and five, trust in Yahweh with all thine heart and lean not to thy own understanding. And all thy ways acknowledge him. And, and, and how do we acknowledge him? All right. We, we orienting our life by way of the scriptures. All right. That's, that's supreme. That's a form of supreme maturity in the spirit. All right. You are on an elite level in the spirit when you can filter the world through the scriptures, all right? When you can filter everything you're going through through the scriptures, it's one thing to know, but to understand is key, okay? It says uh, Proverbs 3 and 6 again, and all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths, all right? And that's another key thing too, is when you have something that you want to pursue, it drives your impulse that makes you, you know, impulsive, and you see these stumbling blocks put in front of you, it takes a certain level of spiritual awareness to understand that that's a divine intervention 
all right, a divine um, stumbling block, for lack of better words, to keep you from putting yourself in a harmful situation. But you have to have that spirit inside of you, all right, that gland, that gland, all right, inside of you, all right, so you can perceive that this is set up by the most high to protect you, man. You can't be so impulsive that you no longer perceive uh, the world through the oil, all right, through the oil, all right, to keep you protected, all right? Because you have about small size not going to put you in a situation where you're going to destroy yourself, all right, if 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 you if it was up to you, all right? Let me see. Um, I was thinking of a certain scripture, but I think I got it mixed up with another one. But I just get this in uh, Sirach. All right, but you know that Yahweh Shah filter is uh is very important. Let me see if I can just go back. Oh, the book of Sirach. Oh, Sirach. It's at thirty-seven. All right. But there's another one. All right, so Rock 37 and, and 16. Let reason go before every enterprise and counsel before every action. All right, reason starts in your mind. All right, but the way you have perfect reason is to have this spirit in you. All right, have this spirit in you. All right, to help you um, maneuver through this world through that filter, through that holy filter, man. Because this world promotes. Living after the flesh. So what's going to stop you from living after the flesh? And of course we have laws. All right. But some people, some Jakes, they follow the laws. All right. But they just don't have the spirit of your how about smell. So like they just don't have the spirit of your how about smell shine though, man. That's why they still come off as niggerish, man. All right. So yeah, they got a turban. And they got the, the fringes and the water blue and they don't eat pork. All right. But they don't have that, that Holy Spirit. All right. Inside them. That's why they're move, moving like niggas. What is a nigga exactly? It's a it's a it's a godless Jake, for lack of better words. It's a Jake that doesn't have that Holy Spirit in him, that Yahweh Shah filter in him, man. So he just maneuvering off his degenerate ass instincts, man. All right. But that's just a, a quick lesson that I wanted to get into. You know, if the spirit allows me to build, I could build on that. But I'm just gonna cut it here, man, and I hope. You know, your brothers and sisters were edified. Once again, I want to give all honor and glory to you. How about some outside by some Kakudas? The Bahana Swap Apostles, great millstone, Ruel. Peace and blessed. I said everything you like. A Baba Ball coming out. Shalom.